Dr. Robin Cook is the course coordinator for the MA Communication Design at Falmouth University. After almost 10 years of working in the creative industries as a designer and art director, TBH Disturbance, Ogilvy, Ogilvy Action, she moved into academia, teaching at both postgraduate and undergraduate levels at the University of Johannesburg and now Falmouth University. Here, Robin discusses why students should, or potentially shouldn't, study a master's in design. Ideally, what should be said to every student, repeatedly, throughout his or her school life is something like this, you are in the process of being indoctrinated. We have not yet evolved a system of education that is not a system of indoctrination. We are sorry, but it is the best we can do. What you are being taught here is an amalgam of current prejudice and the choices of this particular culture. The slightest look at history will show how impermanent these must be, writes Doris Lessing, in the Golden Notebook. The idea of an MA degree in design is often met with reluctance. I remember the response from my own creative director when I enrolled in an MA program, a perplexed but why, as in, why would you bother? A brief scan of Reddit and Watuni reveals a similar kind of attitude from undergrads, it's a waste of time and money, or, it won't help you get a job, etc. So, what is the point of doing a master's degree in design? Doris Lessing's comment highlights, paradoxically, the value of an MA. That is, it allows designers to go beyond the hidden curriculum, and indeed, every curriculum has a hidden curriculum, by equipping them with the critical tools necessary to reveal, refuse and upend. It encourages designers to recognize that the field of design and the act of designing is not a neutral, isolated or value-free activity. And, ultimately, to chart new paths and lines outside of the parameters inscribed by our current systems. Critically, this shouldn't be seen or understood as being in opposition to mainstream design, but rather as operating in parallel, encouraging a rigor and criticality of practice. This is, I would argue, all the more imperative given our rapidly evolving technological and cultural landscape, where we are producing 2.5 quintillion gigabytes of data daily, and where algorithms, automation and AI are rapidly encroaching into traditional domains of design. Students at Falmouth are using this adversarial approach to create work that responds directly to these, and other issues, as part of their MA research. Sek Young Kwan, for example, developed Michael Barnes, a computationally generated Python, Markov chain sequencing, etc., designer, complete with unique portfolio, biography and manifesto. Barnes represents but one randomized version of a potentially exponential number of designers and portfolios that could have been algorithmically generated, thus acting as a provocation around the future of design in the age of intelligent machines.